Rocket League is a simple game. The objective is to drive a car around and knock a big blinky ball into your opponent's goal. Simple. However, like the beautiful game it's inspired by, Rocket League is easy to learn and hard to master. Painfully hard to master. My name is Sunless Khan and today we're going to cover the essential skills in Rocket League to make it a little less painful. I learned these things by slowly hobbling my way through game after game, getting trash talked by other slightly better noobs. Those are players new to the game. But pay attention to this video and you'll learn pretty quickly what it takes to not suck at Rocket League. Let's begin. Skill number one, car control. When you first pick up Rocket League, it takes a little bit to get a feel for maneuvering your vehicle. Most people play Rocket League with a controller, and Rocket League's controls are very simple and easy to learn. In the game, one of the most essential factors is collecting and utilizing boosts, which can be found in pads around the field. But with the great speed that boost provides comes great responsibility, meaning you'll fly around like a maniac unless you learn to control your car a bit. Control comes through utilizing power slides, driving on walls without falling, and generally slowing down instead of blazing past the ball. Though that does look hilarious. Skill number two, shooting and passing. Since Rocket League is a physics-based game, it doesn't take long to figure out that if you want to shoot or pass the ball with some power, you have to flip your car into the ball to get things rolling. However, it takes a few rounds of training, which can be found in-game, to get consistent and accurate at. Over time, you'll find yourself hitting more complex shots from difficult angles and approaches by flipping at the right time, in the right direction, at the right speed. Skill number three, dribbling. At some point, you may realize how nice it would be to control the ball a little bit instead of just banging it halfway across the field every time you touch it. This can be achieved through dribbling. Dribbling is typically done by matching the speed of the ball and making small corrections to its path. This skill is built mainly in free play mode, which we'll talk more about later. Skill number four, positioning. The best way to win in Rocket League when you first begin is simply to pay attention to where you are on the field and play with patience. So instead of flocking to the ball like a pack of preschoolers, you spread out and wait for the perfect opportunity to strike. For example, one of the best and most common ways to score in Rocket League is to roll the ball into the corner and up the back wall, where it eventually drops in front of goal. By understanding how this simple play develops, you're already better than half of the entire Rocket League player base. That was probably a bit harsh, but we are pretty bad at self-control. Skill number five, aerials. This is the skill that really makes Rocket League, Rocket League. After getting a decent grasp of the skills mentioned, it's time to take our game to the skies. In the beginning, you may find it difficult to get very far in the air. You may gaze and wonder at your opponent soaring above you, wondering if you'll ever do the same. Well, you can. All it takes is a jump, a lean, and a little boost to start flying. This is where Rocket League gets both beautiful and, well, not so beautiful. But again, it does look pretty funny. Like other skills, learning to aerial with control and precision takes some time and practice. And when I say practice, you might cringe, but practice in Rocket League is almost as fun as the other stuff, and a little training will go a long way. Free play mode, which I mentioned earlier, is your friend. The in-game training tools are also great fun and will boost your skills. If you're a fast learner, you might figure out relatively early how to do a dodge by pressing A and a direction while you're in the air. Or it might take a little while. Let me warn you though, the first time you find yourself jumping higher than ever before, boosting towards the skies, hitting the ball with power you never thought possible, and watching your name burst across the screen as you fly from the net, giving your team the win with a clutch last second goal. You may be in danger of never putting Rocket League down again. The Universal Open 2v2 competition is here. Sign up for your local qualifier at faceit.com. Get your tickets for the grand finals at the Esports Arena in Santa Ana on August 26th and 27th. Tune in to NBC Regional Sports Networks to watch the Universal Open Regionals. Catch the finals on NBCSN. The Grand Finals will also be broadcast on Sci-Fi in the UK, Germany, Australia, and multiple countries. And of course, check out and download Rocket League on rocketleague.com.